This video will simplify your way of viewing draws on liquidity and the building of your overall narrative. So let's begin, starting with your draws on liquidity. The basic idea behind your draws on liquidity is that the higher time frame you go, the more significant the draws on liquidity will be. So if we start on a weekly, for intraday trading, your most significant liquidity is the previous week's highs and the previous week's lows. For example here, using the current week's price action, this is your previous week's high and this is your previous week's low. When price takes out that significant liquidity, you could anticipate a deeper retracement because there's a significant liquidity in the form of a previous week's high. Now, if you go down to the daily, that's the same thing. Instead of previous week's highs and lows now, you have your previous day's highs and lows. So here, the previous day to the current candle, these are your previous highs and your previous lows. So in a bullish scenario, such as this, for example, when we have a swing point form at a discount array, here, so if you don't know what swing points are, a swing low occurs when there are three candles and the middle wick is the lowest and the two wicks beside it is higher than the lowest wick. So here you have your swing low. If I invert this now, here you have your swing high. Your middle wick is the highest out of the three. So that makes your swing high. So here we have a discount rate in the form of, in, of an imbalance and price creates a swing low. This is your swing low. So you would anticipate for that to stay intact. Now, because this swing low is created within a discount array and your higher time frame narrative is bullish, you would anticipate for the previous day's highs to be your next targets and the previous day's lows to ideally stay protected. This becomes your previous day's highs, going to Fridays now, and that would become your drawn liquidity for intraday trading. So here if I play price out, because we are still bullish, if you go up to the weekly, this was the previous week's high. The Friday was the highest candle in the week. So instead of previous day's highs now, we could use previous week's highs for your next drawn liquidity. Monday, Tuesday is your manipulation lower to expand higher because your higher time frame narrative is bullish. So here, previous week's highs becomes your next draw on liquidity. And then you would just anticipate previous day's highs to become your next draws. Right, and that is following your higher time frame bullish narrative after price mitigates this imbalance, creating a swing point. So those are your daily and weekly draws on liquidity. They are the most significant, and depending on what your overall narrative is, either the high is going to go and the low gets respected, or the low is going to go and the high gets respected. It's just simple as this. Basic bearish market structure, lows will get violated, and highs will stay protected. Now let's look at the same example, but this time, go down onto a lower time frame. Because we have the draw on liquidity now on Friday, let's play price and see what it does on the lower time frame. You have your market structure shift. But remember, because on the daily and the weekly, it's clear that we're in a higher time frame bullish narrative, and the daily tapped into this discount array, you wouldn't anticipate for this bearish market structure shift to be a long-term shift. This was simply just a retracement into this order block potentially before price continues higher and takes out your significant drawn liquidity being this previous week's high. Even though you have a very clear drawn liquidity, it is not always definite that price is going to just continue higher. Price can never keep expanding in one go. There will always be some sort of a retracement before continuing higher or a consolidation before price continues higher, it can never expand in one go because eventually price will run out of liquidity. So it will have to accumulate liquidity either through consolidation or retracements to engineer liquidity before taking price higher. That is your advanced market structure. That is what we had here. Essentially what we've done was we retraced into this bullish order block and we generated liquidity up here for when price is to take it. So this becomes your immediate draw on liquidity. This would go first before the previous week's highs. So if you was an intraday trader or a scalper, this could be your next target. Providing that price gives you that change in stud delivery, market structure shift or market structure break. Price disrespect this imbalance, which is a premium array. So that is your change in stud delivery. Now you anticipate for this immediate draw to get taken out. And there it does. So now what does price do? Price retraces back into this discount array to rebalance imbalance. 
because the two functions in price is to seek liquidity and rebalance old inefficiency. So when price seeked for this immediate draw on liquidity, it would have to rebalance an old inefficiency before it seeked further liquidity. This being your next draw on liquidity. Because my intermediate time frame, which is the one hour, has aligned bullish now after we had that change instead of delivery in line with your higher time frame narrative. We took out this draw on liquidity. Now playing price out. Again, you get the same thing. If you look at this from an overall standpoint, all we were doing was consolidating within this range where the previous week's high is and between this bullish order block. So this is an old low and this is a discount array. So price is consolidating between two PD arrays. So liquidity is being generated on both sides of the markets. But which side is more likely to be violated? This previous week's high, right? Because that is our draw on liquidity. This isn't our draw on liquidity. If price comes down here and take out these lows, that was simply just your manipulation to accumulate positions, to accumulate longs before taking price higher to take out your true draw on liquidity, which is the previous week's high. So the main aim of this video is to teach you to not be confused when you see certain points of liquidity get taken out. Because liquidity is everywhere on the markets, right? Here, you have sell side liquidity. Sell side liquidity. Here you have buy side liquidity. It's essentially everywhere and every liquidity is bound to get taken out. However, certain liquidity points will become your true draws on liquidity and they are the ones that will become your targets for your overall narrative and your trade executions. Now, let me remind you why this previous week's high is your draw on liquidity. Simple. What is your overall narrative? Bullish. Swing low. Implemented within a discount array, essentially respecting this discount array. So if you remember what I said, highs should get violated, lows should stay protected. So all it done here was engineer more liquidity in the form of buy side liquidity. And this is what I like to see when it aligns with my drawn liquidity, because this just makes my drawn liquidity much more of a magnet for price to eventually take out. If we ignore this for now, price came back into this rejection block and then it showed you strong displacement higher, respecting discount arrays and disrespecting premium arrays. So now this bullish order block should be protected to support price higher and taking out your magnet, which is your draw on liquidity, as well as these engineered liquidity. Price comes to that order block, mitigates it, and from there, price continues displacing higher, breaking this, which is your market structure shift with displacement, and then it takes out your previous week's high. Now, if you remember, at the start of the video, when I taught you previous day's highs and lows and previous week's highs and lows, the same concept could be applied to your intermediate timeframes. If I go back to here, because price is fractal, you could utilize the same previous day's highs and lows on your intermediate time frame. So for me, the my intermediate time frame is the hourly. A swing low, and where does it get created? After mitigating this bullish order block. So you see how pr when price was consolidating here and engineered more liquidity on the buy side, and when it came down to this rejection block, it respected that rejection block and gave you your displacement higher. So discount arrays should get respected to support price higher to take out your higher time frame drawn liquidity. So if that's the case, when price creates a swing low here and it gives you a displacement higher, this is extra confirmation, but it breaks this swing higher as well, giving you your market structure break, then that is how you could be sure that on your intermediate time frame we are bullish. So because we are bullish, we should anticipate for significant bullish candles to keep printing and any bearish candles are simply minor retracements to again accumulate more positions before taking it higher, right? So what do I mean by that? Here, if you look at this hourly candle, if you use the previous candles concept, this is your buy side liquidity. So you will look at this for your next target for the hourly to print, right? So playing price out, price takes out that buy side liquidity. What does it do when it takes out that buy side liquidity? It retraces into this breaker block. So like I said, if we are bullish, premium rates should get disrespected, Discount arrays should ideally stay respected. So we would want to see this array get respected and your next target would be the previous candles high, which is this buy side liquidity. Again, we take that out. Price should continue printing bullish candles and only have minor bearish candles. Literally the same thing. This becomes your intermediate draw. It gets taken out. Price comes down. 
sweeps liquidity. And this was simply to just accumulate more positions before expanding higher. See that? And as you would have guessed, this is how you could start to frame your intermediate and your higher time frame draws on liquidity. This becomes your next immediate draw on liquidity on the intermediate time frame in line with your previous week's high. So this is where you could drop down either to the 15 minute or the 5 minute. So here price took out the previous hourly candles high with heavy displacement and your next draw would be this previous week's high. Right, so this is where you could start to look for your entries if price gives you that retracement. It doesn't give you that retracement and that is fine. But look how perfect this is. When price took out your significant draw on liquidity, it gives you a strong retracement lower. And if you remember at the start of the video, that is why I said when a significant draw on liquidity, significant being the higher time frame you go, the idea is the more significant your drawings on liquidity be. So if there's a higher time frame draw on liquidity that gets taken out, you can anticipate a deeper retracement in comparison to your intermediate draws on liquidities. For example, these hourly draws on liquidity. You get a minor retracement in comparison to this larger one. So here is another example, right? This time we are in a bearish scenario. You have your volume imbalance, price tapped into that volume imbalance and displaced lower. It then comes up and takes out this buy side liquidity in the form of a sweep. So ideally, because our high time frame narrative is bearish, you want to see this sweep only be a sweep and for price to continue lower. You don't want to see a full break past this high with displacement because that would mean we are likely going to see bullish price action. So here that's what we get here. Again, your free candle formation. One, two, three. One and three, the wick is lower than number two. So this becomes your swing high. Because the swing high is now implemented in line with your higher time frame bearish narrative after price has swept this higher time frame premium array, previous week's lows and previous days lows should be your next draws on liquidity and ideally highs should stay protected. So if you look here, so now essentially these two lows are just relatively equal lows. So it makes the conviction for these being your draws on liquidity even stronger. If I go to the intermediate time frame now, that is what we had here. Price gave you a market structure break and it takes out your previous day's lows and previous week's low. Now, if we wait for Tuesday to close, this becomes your next draw on liquidity because ideally we should just continue lower and take out previous day's lows. Now, we had this market structure break here. Price came up, swept this liquidity and it respects this bearish order block. And then for extra confirmation, it displaces past this low. This low is your market structure break. So now the intermediate time frame is aligned bearish and we have a strong draw on liquidity here being your previous day's low. We could look to use the same concept on the intermediate time frames. Previous hourly candles lows should get disrespected and previous hourly candles highs should ideally stay protected. So with that in mind, we could start to look for your entries. So let's go down to the five minute. It becomes more clear. This is your market structure break on the five minute. Price retraces, respects this bearish order block and then it displaces lower, giving you another break. So that is extra confluence. Price retraces, respects this imbalance and then continues lower. So now you can look to have an entry off of here. Stop loss just above there. Because if price takes out this high, it's likely that we're going to continue higher because this gives you a bullish market structure break. So here, I would enter off of this bearish order block, stop loss above my invalidation level, and then this draw on liquidity, which is your previous hourly candles low. Right, and that's a very solid trade. So now if you go down to the five minute again, you can look for the same thing. This time, because of how close we are to the previous date's low, this could be your next target. So now let's go down to the five minute and see what price gives us. Right, price retraces, sweeps this liquidity. Notice how we didn't get body closures pa past this swing high. So that is just a sweep. Because remember, price can't just expand lower in one go. It has to retrace, accumulate more positions. So by sweeping buy side liquidity, it's accumulating more shorts before distributing it lower to your overall draw on liquidity, being the previous day's lows. So here, we didn't get a body closure past that, so that is a valid sweep. Price displaces lower, 
disrespecting this bullish order block. So this bullish order block is a discount array. If price was to continue bullish, it would respect discount arrays and disrespect premium arrays. But because it disrespected this discount array with strong heavy displacement, that not only shows you that we are still bearish, but it also validates this sweep even more. This provides you with more confidence that this was simply just a sweep rather than a market structure break. This is where you could use this bullish order block as an inversion level, right? Dark view entry, stop loss here, where the sweep happened, and then your target would be this previous day's low. And that is where you get there. So that concludes this video on identifying your draws on liquidity and how to build a narrative based on that draw on liquidity. So remember, the higher time frame you go, the more significant your draw on liquidity would be. And the key thing here is liquidity points are everywhere on the market. So it's crucial to be able to identify which ones are your true draws on liquidity to use for your targets and your overall narrative building. So that is where your higher time frame direction would come into play. If we are bearish, price mitigates a premium array, creates a swing high, you will look for lows to become your draws on liquidity. That is the basic idea. If we are bullish and price mitigates a discount array, creates a swing low, you will look for highs to be your draw on liquidity. Simple as that. And ideally, any lows that get taken out should just be a liquidity sweep to accumulate longs to distribute to higher. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.